Hey everyone, how's it going? Jake Norton here. I hope you're doing well. And uh, first off, thanks to all of you who watched and commented and asked questions on the last couple videos. I hope I answered all those questions. I did my best to. Uh, if I didn't, or if you have more, please fire away. Uh, send them my way and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, anyways, today I wanted to share with you a little bit of a project that's kind of been ongoing here. But first, uh, some of the other things I'm working on. There's still, you know, those artifacts back there behind me. I'm going to uh, do some more of those, some videos on some of the other odds and ends I have sitting there. So again, if you have questions, specific ones from uh, that you saw in the last video that you'd like me to cover, let me know and I'll do my best. Um, I'm also working on some of my old footage, especially from 2000. 2004 from when Dave Hahn and I were searching up high in the yellow band and on the Northeast Ridge uh, hoping to up res some of that improve the quality and uh, and tell a little bit more about what we did up there but mainly just bring you onto the Northeast Ridge for some of those search expeditions um, but right now um, I wanted to go back into the searches project that I put together back in 2022 I updated in 2023 and now have updated again so if you don't know the links are down below uh, in the description below you can link through to the project um, but this is basically looking at all the searches uh, that have been done from 19 99 our expedition you know there was a little bit done before but not much found so really 1999 through the present era the last search that i know of was uh mine and national geographics in 2019 so all of that is in there but when i first put that out people were asking about routes and other things that had been found over the years and features of the mountain so i've since updated the entire project uh, with all that info in there and uh, rather than just me describing it to you here why don't we go ahead jump into the project and I'll show you uh, what it is what's updated what's new and what you might be able to see and learn from it all right so when you get to the searches project this is kind of the splash page that you'll dive into I've got the whole thing maximized right now you can use the arrow in the corner to go full screen or not First off, um, I'd really recommend looking at this on a laptop or a desktop, something with a big monitor. It would, I, I should say, should work on mobile devices, uh, but it's not really designed for that. So if you can, go ahead and look at it on a bigger screen. That's going to work best for you. Uh, so we're maximized full screen now. This is the splash page here that if you click on it, it'll disappear. You can go back down to the corner here in the lower right, click the eye and uh, it will bring it back up again. Uh, just basic information, instructions on the bottom of how to use it. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then I've got this update in here, um, what I've done to it uh, just recently. Um, so you have that information as well, but I'll take you through that right now. So when you first look at this, it's a pretty busy um, interface here. There's a lot of information on there. This is this is all, everything that I currently have in the searches project. You can toggle that all on or off using this little button here that says all. So if I turn it all off, turn it all back on. So this is showing search areas, routes climbed, routes search routes covered, things that were discovered, different camps, items of interest, so on and so forth. But let's go ahead and turn that off for now. Um, so I want to first point out that if you go into the upper left here, you're going to see there's three different options. This is the image we're on currently. We've got the next one here that's another view of the North Face taken from Base Camp in uh, 2004. And then this final image, the third one, this was uh, given to me, taken by Simone Moro from a helicopter in uh, 2012. He kindly let us use it as we were scoping out uh, climbing the West Ridge route here and wanted to see what conditions were like. Um, so again, it's two different views of the North Face and then a satellite view. But what you'll see is in all these images, I've now populated uh, all three images with all the different feature sets. So that's all. And uh, if you go to Simone's image, again, for some reason things appear and disappear, but sometimes you just have to toggle the all button on or off. I can turn it all off, turn it all back on. Um, so that's going to be consistent across 
all three images. Now, if you want to go into anything, um, you just hover over it um, and it will give you a description of what the item is, what the point of interest is, and of course if you click on it, um, it's going to tell you a pop-up of some more information. If you click on the features, got information on the second step there, uh, clicks going through. So all of, all of that works again across all three images. If we go back to the North Face route, you'll see, boom, gonna get the same pop-up on the second step. Um, please let me know if you do encounter any issues or if I forgot to populate some data. Basically, I had to rebuild each of these feature sets across each panorama because, of course, everything's from a slightly different perspective. And uh, it was a lot of work. Um, I inevitably probably missed something, but I, I think it's pretty tight. But let's clean up the interface here a little bit. So I'm going to turn everything off right now. And uh, first, let's you know go into, for instance, our 99 Expedition. If we turn that on, we're going to see these polygon shapes. Those are different search routes. Again, click on them and they'll bring up information. Uh, little bits of information here as well. The 1933 Camp 6 that I refound on that year. Oxygen bottle, um, I think it's in the right place now, so please let me know if you disagree. Um, so that's 99. Uh, one thing that I added new on this, uh, so um, just a few days ago, Tom Holzell, who you all probably know, one of the pioneers in the story of Mallory and Irvin, he posted something on Facebook that I wasn't aware of about a French military expedition. I knew of that expedition in 1981, but that they actually did some searching. They didn't find anything, but uh, for comprehensive sake, I wanted to include that in here. So if you turn the 1981 toggle, on you'll see this is roughly the search area that they covered again they and here's a, here's a corresponding map you can click on that this is a hand-drawn map with some notes in French but it shows where they searched and saying there was too much snow uh, for them to find anything what's interesting if we zoom in on this and why don't we do this so we zoom in because this is one other thing that I added in here is this history. The, when you toggle this on, it's going to show all the points of interest that relate to the 1924 expedition. Things discovered, Teddy Norton's high point is in there, uh, so on and so forth. But what's interesting, when you look at the French search area, again 1981, they came actually quite close to where Tap Richards found a piece of Mallory's sweater in 2001 and of course where George Mallory was found in by us in 1999. Um, so that's pretty interesting and now uh, you know one other feature set say we want to say ask well who else climbed uh, you know near that piece of sweater near George Mallory over the years. Um, well if we turn on the routes overlay we're gonna see some more interesting information. This was an alternate route to Camp 6 that they used in 1933. Again, their Camp 6 was right up here in the yellow band. Um, but so that route actually, again, took them fairly close uh, to Mallory's piece of sweater. Who knows how long that was there? Um, and Mallory's body, not, not that close, but not that far. So you can start getting some interesting overlays going here. I'm gonna turn the routes back off, um, turn 1981 off. Uh, turn history off, but then I'm going to go to routes again to show you one new update. This is the French route that I put in um, that they climbed um, up to their high point, which was up here on the first step. Um, but what's interesting, if I click out of this, is they did a slightly different pattern here. They came up this gully system to, uh, to the left of the main climbers gullies, which are here, they came up that way and then traversed a portion of the Longland Traverse uh, before making their way up onto the Northeast Ridge. So some new data in there, um, in this project. And then again, if we go to a different look, again, I've got to sometimes toggle everything on or off. Uh, again, the features. So you can click those on to say, oh, what are the dihedrals? Okay, um, you know, read a little bit about the dihedrals. We can look at the warts. Uh, 
some information about everything in there. So, so anyways, again, I was just trying to make that searches project incorporate a little bit more data, a little bit more information for all, make it a little bit more user friendly so that people can navigate it with a bit more clarity and understanding, turning feature sets on and off, and uh, also make it consistent across all three images that I'm sharing there with the search, route, and historical data on it. Uh, so as always, please enjoy it, dig around, let me know what you think. If you find errors or omissions, things that uh, aren't consistent across all three images, please let me know. As I'm always saying, I'm one person, I'm uh, far from perfect, I do most things quite imperfectly, uh, but hopefully this is helpful and I'm happy to make corrections when I'm alerted to them. So thank you all very much. Stay tuned for some more stuff coming up. Uh, Probably not this week, probably next week, but I'll get to it as soon as I can. And uh, everyone take care and enjoy the onset of spring, or if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, the onset of autumn. All right, take care. Bye.